in the name of Allah most gracious most merciful today we are going to start chapter number one of CBSE class 11 business studies and this chapter is about business trade and commerce let's see we will start the introduction of business all human beings wherever they may be require different type of goods and services to satisfy their needs if we look around we observe people require different types of products and services to satisfy their needs how do they buy them they go to the market either physically or electronically over internet where they find variety of shops and sellers offering the required commodities and choose the best which they require so every human being requires some commodities to buy uh, that can be in the form of service and that can be in the form of physical product you go to the shop to buy or you order online from Amazon or any other source online and you get it on the doorstep. Have you ever wondered how these products and services are made available in the market? The necessity of supplying goods and services is done by different set of people engaged in various economic activities such as production, manu manufacturing and distribution and exchange so that the needs and wants of the customers are satisfied. <clears throat> So these products and services are available in the market and it is being brought by the production, manufacturing and distribution of the different channels, different people, wholesaler, retailer, they are bringing it in the, into the market and it is always according to the need and want of the customer because actually we want to satisfy the customer. If the satis uh, customer is satisfied, then they will buy our product. Business is a ma uh, major economic activity which concerned with the production and sale of goods and services required by people business is central to our lives although our lives are also influenced by many other institutions in modern society such as schools colleges hospitals political parties and religious bodies business has a major influence on our daily lives it therefore becomes important that we understand the concept nature and purpose of the business role of business in the development of economy of course business plays a very great role in the development of the economy how it plays let's see business which includes trade and commerce have played a vital role in uh, role since times memorial memorial you have studied in your earlier classes that our country india have had a golden past and the trading activities had a significant contribution to its prosperity and gains the goods were traded both internally and to the foreign lands <clears throat> which generated surplus income as a result the people were engaged in various economic activities such as agriculture and uh, domestication of animals uh, weaving cotton dyeing fabrics making clay pots utensils and handicrafts sculpting cottage industry masonry etc the use of age old hundi the use of age old hundi used in southern region it was used as document to facilitate transfer of money from one hand to another for trading activities major trade centers in ancient times major trade center were pataliputra pataliputra known as panta today it was uh, not only a commercial town but also a major center for export of stones. Peshawar, Peshawar was an important exporting center for wool and, uh, and for the import of horses. Exila, it served as a major center on the important land route between India and Central Asia. It was also a city of financial and commercial banks. Mathura, it was an emporium of trade and commerce. Surat, it was the emporium of western trade during the Mughal period. Textiles of Surat were famous for their gold borders. Zari. And Kanchi today, known as Kanchi Puram, it uh, was here that the Chinese used to come in foreign ships to purchase pearl, pearls, glass and rare stones. In the return, they uh, sold gold and silk. These are all the major trade centers in ancient times. Furthermore, concept of business, like it's more elaborated now, the term business is derived from the word busy. Thus, business means being busy. 
However, in a specific sense, business refers to an occupation in which people regularly engage in activities related to purchase, production or sale of goods and services with a view to earn profit. If you look around, you will observe that people undertake various activities to satisfy their needs. These activities be broadly classified into two groups, economic and non-economic. So people have various activities to satisfy their needs. Those activities are economic and non-economic activities. Economic activities are those by which we earn, we can earn our livelihood, whereas non-economic economic activities are performed out of love, sympathy, sentiment, patriotism, etc. Like in non-economic activity, you are not earning anything and economic activity, you are earning something. For example, a worker working in a factory, doctor operating in his clinic, a manager working in an office and teacher teaching in a school are doing so, the, uh, so to earn their livelihoods and are therefore engaged in economic activity because they work and they take salary. On the other hand, housewife cooking food for her family or a boy helping an old man uh, cross to cross the road are performing non-economic activities since they are doing so out of love or sympathy. Now we see the characteristics of business activity. Business activity includes economic activity we know. Business gives production of goods and services. Business is for sales of goods and services. Business deals in goods and services on regular basis. Business gives profit earning. Give, business is uncertain. Uncertainty of return is there because you are not sure you will get profit or loss. Element of risk, it's very risky. You can succeed or you can fail. So these are all the characteristics of business activities. Now we will do the comparison of uh, business profession and employment. So basically, uh, the basic we will see first of all uh, mode of establishment, business, entrepreneurs decision and other legal formalities if necessary. If we want to establish our business, okay, so entrepreneurs take decision and other legal formalities to do uh, to like uh, establish their business profession membership of a professional body and certificate of practice should be there for the establishment and for the establishment related to employment appointment letter and service agreement should be there secondly nature of work what kind of work business is doing profession is doing and employment is doing basically business is a provision of goods and services to the public business gives products and services to the general public and profession renders of uh, personalized expert services like a teacher is teaching it means his nature of work is teaching and a teacher is a profession to him employment performing work as per service contract or rules of service employment is what you make the contract with the employer and you are working according to that qualification business no minimum qualification or maximum qualification is required profession Qualification in profession is qualification expertise and training in specific field as prescribed by the professional body is a must and in qualification related to employment that is qualification and training is prescribed by the employer. Return, reward to reward or return to the, pro, uh, to the business is always return is profit or loss and uh, profession is professional fee and the employment is salary or wages like what they receive exactly then capital investment capital investment required as per size of the business business is big you require more money business is small you requires less capital and profession and capital investment is limited capital needed for establishment and uh, for employment no capital is required risk in business profits are uncertain and irregular risk is present because you might succeed you might fail in profession the risk is fee is generally uh, regular and certain some risk is there in profession risk is there and employment fixed and regular pay no little risk is there okay uh, like uh, there is no or a little risk is there like i think there is no risk in my opinion there is no risk in few of the organization if they feel that uh, the economy is going to face a lot of recession and all that maximum what they can do they can redundant you they can dismiss dismiss you or they can make downsizing but about your salary and about your things it's very rare that you have any risk related to that then <clears throat> we have transfer of interest in business transfer possible with some formalities 
in profession not possible no transfer is there and also the employment is not transferred code of conduct in business no code of conduct is prescribed in professionalism professional code of conduct is to be followed and in employment norms of behavior laid down by the employer are to be followed so you have to follow the employer example of business is shop and factory example of profession is legal medical profession or chartered accountant or teacher or anything and example of employment is jobs in the bank insurance companies jobs in government departments anywhere the job that is the example of employment so this is the comparison of business profession and employment okay this is very important now we see classification of business activities <clears throat> Various business activities may be classified into two broad categories, industry and commerce. Industry is concerned with the production of processing, uh, production or processing of goods and materials. Commerce include all those activities which are necessary for facilitating the exchange of goods and services. Very clear. Now we see industry in detail. Industry refers to the economic activities which are connected with conversion of resources into useful goods. Industries may be divided into three broad categories namely primary secondary and tertiary it's very common like normally you might have heard about raw material you might have heard about natural resources you might have heard about machinery and processing and you might have heard about services so we will see that these three primary secondary and tertiary sector how they work first of all primary industries these include all those activities which are concerned with ex extraction of uh, extraction and production of natural resources and rep uh, reproduction and development of living organism plants etc these are divided as follows extractive industries and genetic industries extractive industries draw products from natural resources and genetic industry is breeding plants and animals secondary industry these are concerned with using materials which have already been extracted at the primary sector these industries process such materials to produce goods for final consumption or for further processing by other industries industrial units secondary industry may be further divided into uh, like uh, two parts manufacturing industry and cons construction industry manufacturing industry is engaged in producing goods through processing of raw material and construction industry is construction of buildings dams bridges roads as well as tunnels and canals Tertiary sector, these are connected with providing support service to primary and secondary industries as well as activities related to trade. These industries provide service facilities. Included in this category are transport, banking, insurance, warehousing, communication, packaging and advertising. So all these things are giving the service. In tertiary sector, you are always giving the services. So it's very clear in secondary sector, you make the process. What you have ex extracted in primary industry you process that in secondary industry and then you are selling it in the tertiary sector you are giving service of sales at the shops etc and primary industry is that is all related with uh, raw natural resources of raw materials next is commerce commerce include two type of activities trade and auxiliaries to trade trade buying and selling of goods is termed as trade auxiliaries to trade activities that are required to facilitate the purchase and sale of goods these are called services or auxiliaries to uh, trade and include transport banking insurance communication advertisement packaging and warehousing commerce therefore includes both buying and selling of goods trade as well as auxiliaries such as transport banking etc objectives of business an objective is the starting point of business Every business is directed to the achievement of certain objectives. Objectives refer to all the business people want to get in return for what they have, what they do. It is generally believed that business activity is carried out only for profit. Business persons themselves proclaim that their primary objective is to produce or distribute goods or services for the sake of profit. So objective of business is mainly to earn the profit. That's it. Role of profit in business. Profit may be regarded as an essential objective of business for various reasons. Number one, it is a source of income for business person. Like when you start the business, it's a source of income for you. It can be source of finance for meeting expansion requirements of the business. Like if you expand, want to expand your business from one branch to another branch, 
you want money for that and if you are earning profit you keep you save that profit and then after that you make expense you can make expansion with that it indicates the effect efficient working of the business if the profit is there you are earning the profit it means your business is efficient to earn the profit it can be taken as society's approval of the utility of business it means that if you are earning profit it means in the society your business is popular and people believe in your business you have good sales they use your business they use your product they are very satisfied with you that's why you are making profit it builds the reputation of the business enterprise of course main objectives of the business objectives are needed in every area that influence the survival and prosperity of business market standing marinating goodwill and reputation of one's business is paramount to succeed and prosper innovation innovation is a central to the growth of any business enterprise productivity productivity is ascertained by comparing the value of output with the value of inputs it's very clear that main objective of the business is market standing that you uh, marinating goodwill you are like creating your goodwill goodwill is asset a good name in the market okay marinating goodwill and reputation of the ones business is paramount to succeed and prosper is very important objective then innovation is very important objective if innovation is there your product will be like on in demand always and productivity if you have very good productivity your stock you will never lose your uh, stock you will never be out of stock then physical and financial resources any business requires physical resources like plants machines office etc and financial resource like funds to be able to produce and supply goods and services to its customers the business enterprise must have all the physical and financial resources then uh, earning profits one of the objective of the business is to earn profit on the capital employed capital employed is what money you invest in the business now let's see business risk the term business risk risk refers to the possibility of um inadequate profits or even losses due to uncertainties or unexpected events for example demand for a particular product may decline due to change in taste and uh, preference of customers due to increased competition from other producers lower demand results in low sales and profits in other situation the shortage of raw materials in the market may shoot up its price the firm using these raw materials will have to pay more for buying them as a result cost of production may increase which uh, increase which in return may reduce profits of course causes of business risk business risk arise due to variety of causes which are classified as follows natural cause natural cause is uh, causes human beings have little control over natural climate uh, calamities like flood earthquake if any earthquake is there you will have loss any fire is there flood is there human causes human cause include such unexpected events like dishonesty for example if any partner is dishonest whole of the business uh, will fail so there is a big risk causes of business risk include economic cause also and other causes economic causes these include uncertainties related to demand for goods or uh, goods competition or the price and other causes these are unforeseen events like practical uh, political disturbances mechanical failures such as the bursting of boiler fluctuations in exchange rate etc which lead to the possibility of the business like any situation can happen your machinery can fail political situation can be disturbed and any boiler can be busted or any fluctuation in the exchange rate like dollar is going up and down and all that so these are the causes of the business starting a business basic factors starting a business enterprise is similar to any other human effort in which resources are employed to achieve certain objectives the, the process of setting up one's own business is called entrepreneurship the process of setting up owns uh, up one's own business is called entrepreneurship entrepreneurship is a person who take the risk and start his own business the person who is set up uh, who set up his business is called entrepreneur the output of the process that 
that is the business unit is called business enterprise it is uh, interesting to note that entrepreneurship is, uh, besides providing self employment to the entrepreneur is responsible to a great extent uh, for creation expansion of opportunities for the other two economic activities too that is employment and profession like we studied two economic activities so for that he is uh, producing employment and profession and in the process uh, business entrepreneurship becomes crucial for overall economic development of the nation next part is factors selection of type of business like for business first factor is that which business you want to start okay that is selection of type of business the first thing to be decided by an entrepreneur is the nature and type of the business to be undertaken second part is the size of the business size of the firm or the scale of its operation is another important decision to be taken at the start of the business that you want to start from a big level or from the low level or the average level third location of the business enterprise location of the business enterprise mean that where you will start your business an important factor to be considered at the start of the business is the place where enterprise will be located financing the pro uh, proposition financing is concerned with providing the necessary capital for starting as well as for continuing the proposed business physical facilities availability of physical facilities including machines and equipments uh, building and supportive services is an important factor to be considered at the start of the business of course competent and committed workforce every enterprise need competent and committed workforce to perform various activities so that the physical and financial resources are converted into desirable outputs tax planning tax planning has become necessary these days because there is a number of there are a number of tax laws in the country and they influence almost every aspect of the uh, fun, aspect, aspect of the functioning of modern business and it is launching the enterprise after all the decisions you are now able to launch your own business and the entrepreneur can go ahead with actual launching of the enterprise which would mean mobile mobilizing various resources fulfilling necessary legal formalities starting the production process and initiating the sales promotion campaign if you have and this is all about the first chapter if you have any question you can contact me you can both the numbers are on the whatsapp my email is there okay and um, if you have any question you can also comment on the video so that we will answer you on the particular video whatever is your in inquiry we will tell you through the video or the short okay thank you very much stay blessed if you are new to the channel please subscribe my channel thank you